Hey there everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lauren of Lauren Makes Plans and today I'm here with another Bible review video for my Bible review series for the month of June. I'm super, super excited to get to this Bible. Um, if you followed along for my channel for a little while, you may or may not know that back in December, I graduated with my bachelor's degree after a quite extended amount of time. It was a long time coming. And it's graduation season. That's why all these Bibles are here at my house because these are for all the graduates at our church this year. Everybody got to pick their own. And this, this is my graduation Bible that I chose after a lot, a lot, a lot, 11 years of getting through my bachelor's degree. So this one is mine. I've been super excited to get to it, to share it with you guys. I'm super excited to be able to start using it. It's been in my house for a couple weeks now. It's been driving me nuts that I have not been able to use it yet, but here it is. And it's almost graduation Sunday, so it's almost time for me to actually get to take it out of the box and be able to use it. But until then, let's look at it. I'm so excited. Okay. So this is an ESV single column journaling Bible in large print. And this is the natural leather brown flap with strap. So it is the leather wrap Bible by Crossway. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it. This is also the only Bible um, of all the ones for the reviews for the graduations and everything that is not a study Bible. And I have wanted this particular Bible for a lot, a lot of years, um, but I've never bought it for myself. I don't know why. Normally, if I want something that bad, I just buy it. But I have, I've never bought this Bible for myself before, and I've wanted the, the leather wrap for a really long time. I have several study Bibles that I really like. And this Bible, this has been like top of my Bible collector wish list for a very long time. And I'm so, so excited that I finally um, get to have one and that it is such a special meaning in my graduation Bible after so long. So let's open the box. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay. So let me take this out and then get the box out of the way. So first thing you might notice is on the box, it has the string. There's no string on this Bible. Here's the string here in this nice little plastic Velcro situation that you have to like, because of the way the packaging and stuff and the leather, I will attach this myself um, later. I'm not gonna do it now because then my husband in particular will accuse me of like trying to get my hands on my Bible and use it sooner than I'm supposed to be. He did approve me filming these videos, by the way, and all the graduates said it was okay that I filmed their Bibles. <laughs> just so you know, I'm not like just stealing people's Bibles out of boxes and being like, oh, by the way, I opened it first. Um, but they all know and they all said it's fine. But <laughs> he has told me that I'm not allowed to use my Bible until graduation Sunday. So I'm gonna put that back in there just like it came so that way he doesn't think that I have been like using it in advance but you do attach the string yourself there is instructions in there for how to do that in there that is I'm gonna set it off to the side so this is the natural leather oh, I love it it's so nice so this is the flap it just kind of wraps around there and then the string wraps around it and then this is not as floppy of a leather because it does have like the in sheets attached to it and stuff. This is like still the rough cut, no stitching, all of that, which I love so much. One thing I also didn't know before I got it, but I really like is that it does have this pin loop, like this really nice pin loop right here. So you can tuck a pin down in there. So nice. So we do have the brown leather um, in sheets, this thick like cardstock type thing here, a nice cream colored cardstock presentation page, and then it goes straight into the ESV Bible. Oh, it's so pretty. Then here's your table of contents. It's just the preface, Genesis through Malachi. Matthew through Revelation, and then a couple things in the back. Because this is not a study Bible, there is not as much stuff in this one as some of the other ones that we've looked at. Um, and then you have your preface here to 
the ESV version of the Bible. This one is the large print, which I wanted on purpose because, you know, eyesight. But also, I kind of like it um, a little bigger versus just this typical journaling Bible size that's a little shorter. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. So I got the large print one to make sure that, you know, it was the size that I was wanting, which it is, it's perfect. I love the paper in this one too. It's a little, it's more of a cream color and not as much white. I think the journaling study Bible had very white paper and it's a nice thick journaling Bible paper quality. So then you just have Genesis. It is just plain across here in bold with a word. This is also a single column which is very important to me. I really like a single column better. So it's just the single column down through with your two inch margins down the side. Same as with, let me flip to a different page so it'll stay open a little more. Same as with the, um, the journaling study Bible, it is lined here with just the typical little light dots there. So you can see that. So then we do have one brown ribbon marker in here and then one thing one other thing I wanted to show was in the Psalms the beginning of the Psalm like let's go to the Psalms in the Psalms in the wisdom literature um, different things like that we've talked about it is set in more of a poetic type face versus here in just the regular text where it's just like a regular text block in the poetic sections there is a distinction there in that which I I absolutely love but this is the large print version here which I love it's nice and bold um, you can see it and read it really well but there's still plenty of space to be able to mark it up because you guys know that I'm gonna mark this thing up like I'm gonna mark it up real good I'm so excited about it so then we get all the way through the Old Testament I'm just so excited. I love it so much. I'm so excited. Okay. So then we have the New Testament page here. I really love the font that they've done here. I think this may have been the same in the other ESV Bibles, but I just love that the V is a little bit more of a script and then the New Testament is bolded. So then here we have Matthew, same as before, where you just have your basic text font. One thing that's going to be a little different for me in the ESV versus the KJV, which is what I've always used is that even in a single column KJV, it's like verse one, verse two, verse three, kind of bullet listed out down the page. So it's single column, but when the verse ends, it automatically goes down to a new line. Um, with the ESV, it's kind of an adjustment because as you can see here, it has verse two here, but then verse three starts over here. It's just kind of like in a sentence structure where it just carries on. And then here, verse six, verse six doesn't end, but that's the end of the sentence into the paragraph. And then here's verse six carried on and then verse seven. So that's kind of an adjustment. It's just the way that the ESV um, lays out their verse structure in here. I think it probably makes more sense as far as a reader goes, like it's more in the format of if you're reading a book, which makes more sense that way but that's not the way that it's always been in me reading so it's just going to be a little bit of an adjustment although I do think that I like the idea behind it this is another place to see really good where I was talking about about um things being set in a different text block so here in chapter 2 verse 8 you've got the regular um just the regular text block here and then it jumps down right here the reason this jumps down is because this is a quotation and it sets it apart whenever it quotes, whenever it's a poetic something, whenever it's a song, a lament. And I really, really like that added feature because it makes sure that you do not miss the fact that Jesus is quoting someone, um, that the New Testament author is quoting someone. And if they're quoting someone, they're doing it to make a point. So it makes sure that you do not miss that fact. This is a quotation Maybe if you're studying, you should take this quotation, look it up and go read it in its context to get the full idea of what they're saying. So I think that's super, super helpful. And I really like that. So here we are again in the Sermon on the Mount. Like I've said every time, Sermon on the Mount is Jesus talking for several chapters. This is not a red letter edition Bible. 
I also believe this is the first Bible I have had that is not a red letter edition. So there's going to be some adjustments all around here with this Bible, but I am so, so excited about it. So then you get all the way through the New Testament. And it's just so pretty. I'm just so excited. I love it so much. You get all the way through the New Testament. And here we have Revelation. Siri thought I was talking to her about the New Testament. I was not. So you get all the way through the Revelation. And then you have a table of weights and measures, monetary units. So this is pretty typical in most Bibles, especially in the ESV ones we've been looking at throughout. Um, and this is through a Bible in a year reading plan. It doesn't have the nice little check boxes that the Life Application Study Bible has, but it's okay. There's a Bible in a year plan that is dated in nice little charts for each month. And then you just have a cardstock page and your end sheets and the back cover, which folds and wraps right back up. So there it is. Isn't it just so nice? It's so pretty. This may have been a little bit more of a boring Bible review than some of the study Bibles because there are less features in it, but this is kind of like, I don't know, this has kind of like been my dream Bible for a long time and I'm so, so happy to finally have it. So let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on this Bible? What are your thoughts on this one versus the other one? Of all the ones I've shown you so far, the ESV Study Bible in the personal size, the ESV Journaling Study Bible, the ESV Study Bible in the large print from Hosanna Revival, the NIV Life Application Study Bible, or the ESV Large Print Leather Wrap journaling Bible, which one would you choose? How would you rank them? What order would you put them in from one to five? So let me know all these things down below in the comments. We still have one more video coming in this series. Um, it is not a Bible, but it is still a graduation gift for someone. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.